good afternoon students so today we will start with the second module which is a combination logic design so in combination logic design we are going to discuss uh, the four different devices uh, which are uh, encoder decoders uh, decoders encoders multiplexers and demultiplexers right so in uh, before that before we start with the actual uh, uh, topic right so we will discuss uh, what are the different kinds of uh, digital circuits the, the digital circuits are divided into two types one is combination circuit one second one is a sequential circuit the output of the circuit depends on uh, in case of combination circuit the output of the circuit depends on only the present inputs right so for example uh, decoders encoders later we'll come to know what are decoders and encoders gates as we discussed in the previous uh, module we have uh, we are uh, well aware of uh, these gates multiplexers and demultiplexers these are all come under the category called uh, combination circuit right so if you take an example of a simple gate let us say this and gate let us take this and gate in which the output is y and inputs are a and b right so here y is purely is going to depend on only the present inputs a and b right so whenever a and b changes either a or b changes then y will change right so if i take the truth table for 0 0 output is 0 if i if i keep a is equal to 0 and b if i change if i make make b is equal to 1 then y will remain same that is the property of or that is the characteristic of and gate if i take or gate then output will change here for or gate for or gate where uh, out expression is a plus b what is the output for the same uh, input combinations we will get 0 1 1 1 right so here and get you check for first three combinations output is going to remain same right but in uh, or gate uh, it is going to change first then it is going to remain same for next uh, that is uh, mm, last three combinations you can say okay so depending on the characteristic of that particular gate the output is going to change but what i want to uh, what i am trying to say here is the output is purely going to depend on the present inputs a and b however whenever uh, the uh, input changes the output also changes right so this is the combinational circuit in case of sequential circuit the output of a circuit depends on both present as well as present inputs and the past outputs right so output of a circuit depends on both the present inputs and the past or the previous outputs right so for for example uh, the flip flops flip flops latches and registers right so these are the examples for uh, sequential circuits right so why this sequential circuits are used because some of the digital circuits you are going to use to store some data right so the, you will uh, use them as a memory devices right so combination circuit circuits will not uh, uh, hold any kind of data they, you cannot use combination circuit for uh, memory right but uh, sequential circuits can be used for a uh, memory right because they are going to hold the data in form of uh, uh, a bit or in, in the form of multiple bits right so if i draw if i draw a simple latch if i draw a simple latch that latch will also make use of the gates right so here this is a one latch let us say that uh, this sequential part we are going to study in the second half of this subject okay first you just worry about uh, what do you mean by the present input and the past output right see now so latch this is the latch again it is it is made up of uh, two nand gates one and two right so here you just check uh, there are two inputs a and b and there are two outputs q and q bar where outputs are complement to each other here the output let us take i'll take only one output which is let us say q this q depends on the only present input present input here is a and what is the past output here the one more line is coming see here mm -hmm. this line this line is nothing but the past output because q and q bar q and q bar both are outputs right so present output this is the present output depends on both the present input that is a and the uh, past output which is q bar right so uh, the present output changes whenever a or q bar changes right so this 
line what i am drawing or which is connecting uh, the output and the input one of the input of this nand gate is nothing but which we call it as the feedback hmm? feedback is we are going to connect output to the input right some part of the output is fed back to the input right but this line is not available if you take if you draw a combination circuit later we will come to know when i discuss a decoder you do not find uh, this line where it is going to connect the output to input right so hence those circuits are called in which the feedback is not available those circuits are called the combination circuit which are not uh, used for uh, uh, memory uh, used as a memory elements and in case of uh, uh, circuits in a sequential circuit in which you will find this feedback because of which it acts as a memory device how later it is a, uh, it is a part of what uh, you can say higher semester right so at at this stage you just uh, try to remember sequential circuits are used to uh, build the memory devices okay i hope these things are clear the very basic uh, the very basic uh, difference between uh, combination circuit and sequential circuits are clear to you right so combination circuit uh, where the output of a circuit depends on only present inputs and sequential circuit the output of a circuit depends on both the present input as well as the past output right so in next slide we will uh, start with the, the combination circuit in this case in this uh, uh, module we are going to starting with uh, we are going to start with uh, um, uh, decoders okay moving to the next slide uh, let us say the first combination uh, let us say the first combination uh, device which is a decoder right so what uh, what are the decoders decoders are the combination circuits right which converts one form of the code into another form what is one form of the code into another form that you will understand when uh, when i discuss the truth table of this decoder right you just try to re uh, remember this uh, example uh, sorry the definition of a decoder where uh, decoder code in the name itself uh, you can say decode if, if i give you some uh, puzzle and if you decode it if you decode it then you are converting one form of the puzzle into another form right so if i convert let us say instead of writing a b c d hmm, if i give number to this if i give number to this then what i am doing here instead of writing a b c d i am decoding them into another form that is 1 2 3 4 so whenever you uh, if you uh, solve this puzzle or if you solve this um, mm, if you understand the uh, technique here so a is decoded as one right so whenever you receive so what i'm trying to say here is if i if i want to send a b c d if this is the information from uh, one point to another point if i am sending this information from one point to another point instead of uh, uh, instead of sending a b c d what i'll do i'll decode them i'll decode them actually this is encoding right so uh, the reverse uh, way of uh, decoding is nothing but encoding or vice versa hmm? uh, a b c d instead of sending a b c d i'll send a 1 2 3 4 right a receiver will understand this is the decoded part so what he'll do he'll encode it or decode it then he will whenever he receives one then he will treat it as he will read it as a uh, then 2 as b 3 as c and 4 as d right so this conversion of one form of the code alphabets into uh, numerics right so this is called uh, you can either call it as encoding or decoding right so just remember decoders are the devices or the combination circuits which converts one form of the code into another form so in general the decoders have total n inputs mm, general decoders have uh, n inputs and 2 raised to n outputs right so here for example here, example we are going to study 2 is to 4 decoder 3 is to 8 decoder and 4 is to 16 decoder right so 2 is to 4 decoder in which n is equal to 2 right so in general we write the decoder as n is to 2 raised to n right so in case of 2 is to 4 decoder what is n here in place of n i wrote 2 and in place of uh, 2 raised to n i wrote 4 that means n is equal to what n is equal to 2 right so 2 raised to n which is equal to 2 raised to 2 which is equal to 4 so 
2 is to 4 decoder has 2 inputs and 4 outputs right so 2 is to 4 how you are going to uh, name those decoder the first you, you, you are going to write the inputs then you will write a colon then you will write the number of outputs right so how it is read it is read as 2 is to 4 decoder uh, has 2 inputs and 2 raised to n where n is equal to 2 so 4 outputs similarly 3 is to 8 decoder has 3 inputs and 2 raised to 3 which is equal to 8 outputs right so in diagram how do you represent that decoder encoder max and uh, dmaxes we are not going to bother about uh, the internal circuitry we are going to put in the form of a square box square or a rectangle then we will uh, uh, inside we, we will write which kind of decoder encoder max or a dmax it is then we will name the number of inputs if it has uh, if it has if it has only one input uh, sorry two inputs then we will uh, denote those inputs with the inward arrow mark then we will name those inputs similarly the outputs are denoted with the outward arrow mark then we will name those outputs the naming is left to you right so user can take their own names and uh, you uh, you can name uh, decoders encoders max or dmax similarly i want to draw a general uh, uh, decoder how it is drawn put a rectangle or a uh, square inside you right it is a general decoder n is to uh, n is to 2 raised to n n inputs and 2 raised to n outputs so arrow marks are very important right so that will tell you whether those uh, uh, the variables are inputs or outputs right so with this uh, basic knowledge of decoder we will discuss the first very basic uh, decoder which is nothing but 2 is to 4 decoder in my next slide okay let us jump to the next slide in which i am going to discuss uh, the basics of a 2 is to 4 decoder right so and with the truth table right so here we will see 2 is to 4 decoder here we will see 2 is to 4 decoder uh, with its truth table right how it is denoted this is the symbolic uh, uh, representation of a decoder 2 is to 4 decoder and this is the truth table here you can identify from the symbol you can identify it has two inputs because of these arrow heads arrow heads i can denote i can tell a and b are the inputs and because of these outward arrows i can tell y0 to y3 are the outputs right so here clearly you write a and b there are two inputs so two inputs are nothing but uh, we can write a total four combination similarly uh, four outputs y, y0 y1 y2 and y3 right so for 0 0 for 0 0 y0 will become high and rest all will become 0 that means 0 0 is one type of the code this is one type of the code right and one triple zero one triple zero is another type of the code it is another type of the code right so as per the definition of a decoder what i can say it is converting it is converting one type of the code into another type of the code so if i do it ulta if i do it in a reverse manner then i can tell i can i can call it as if these y0 y1 y2 y3 if they act as a input and a and b will act, if they act as a output then i can call it as encoder right again encoder is a again it's a combination circuit which converts one form of the code into another form in that case one triple zero will become one type of the code and zero zero will become another type of the code right so this is the truth table it is very simple to remember even no need to remember also uh, zero zero you name the outputs such that you name those uh, uh, whatever name you give you take one alphabet and subscript you write a digit or a numeric right so this is i'll i'll write here the decimal combination of this okay mm. what are the dec uh, what is the decimal combination of those input combinations so here it is zero right so decimal zero zero means it is zero that means y0 where subscript is zero just identify 
zero is here there is one two three here so there is a zero one uh, there is a zero here so write one below y zero similarly for rest of the outputs you write zero next zero one what is the decimal equivalent of zero one it is one so identify where the one is it is y one so in that particular column you write one and rest of the outputs will become zero similarly this is two this is three right uh, simi uh, similar to the previous two inputs or outputs you just name make y y2 is equal to 1 and y3 is equal to 1 and rest all will become 0 so this is the simple 2 is to 4 decoder with its truth table right so then uh, you may you may uh, you may be thinking what lies in this box a square or a rectangular box that we will discuss now right so this is what i'll say inside inside of that square or a logic uh, uh, sorry rectangle box which i will call it as a logic diagram right so a pure this uh, two table is going to be represented in the form of a logic diagram right so le let us uh, uh, draw the logic diagram for uh, uh, 2 is to 4 decoder right so what are the input uh, what are the um, logic expressions before i draw logic diagram i need a boolean expressions right so what is y0 just uh, identify where 1 is right so in the first column sorry in the third column y0 th column uh, y0 is high for which combination of a and b a0 b0 so what i'll write a bar and b bar for rest of the outputs uh, 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 rest of the outputs are zero so we will not bother about that so similarly y1 uh, what is y1 a is zero so i'll write a bar b is one so i'll read i'll write it it's a uh, what a true form then y2 a b bar and y3 both a and b are high so what we will write we will write a and b right next how to now we have to draw with this boolean expressions i have to draw a logic diagram right so a bar how to obtain a bar a bar is obtained using a not gate similarly b bar is obtained using not gate right so what is the operation between a bar and b bar it is logical and and what is the output it is y dot similarly you draw y1 y2 and y3 y1 is a bar this is a bar no need to use again one more not gate because you have to think of uh, concising the hardware here right so you have already generated a bar using this not gate right so no need to again generate a bar using one more not gate right so you make use of uh, output of the first not gate which will uh, tell you this is a bar and this is b bar hmm? then a bar b b is here so again what is the operation between uh, a bar and b again it is and gate so output is y1 similarly y2 it is a and b bar b bar is here you take b bar hmm? and output is y2 right so please remember uh, there is no you can you can call it as a short right but short i am representing it as a dot right so this dot if there is a dot then there is a short if there is no dot then it is not a short okay it is a jump you can say right the, or even you can draw this line as like this also which we call it as a jump okay next uh, next y3 how to obtain y3 a and b right so what is the operation between these two again and gate and this is y3 right so now if i put a box for this logic diagram so what comes in inside the box what comes inside the box is this part right for and for and gates and two not gates will fall inside the box so what lies in this uh, rectangle box is nothing but two not gates and four and gates so these are the outputs these are the outputs and these are the inputs a and b right so i hope you understand right how to draw the logic diagram and how to write a truth table and what is the use of uh, or what is uh, um, how the decoder is defined 
okay in next class we will discuss how to design a different functions using decoders okay thank you